I could kick myself. Look at these lovely onions. I'd got them all lovely and golden, all dried nicely, and left them out in the rain last night. Harvested the rest of those, not particularly big, but they'll do nicely. And look at these. Courgettes, um, crystal lemon cucumbers, kohlrabi, Swiss chard. Let's go and have a wander around the garden. Not been for a while, have we? Look at that tomato plant, isn't it lovely? Oh, starting to turn red as well, look, it's starting to come. But in that squash, actually, look at that, that's really come on leaps and bounds. I picked loads of sweet peas off there yesterday. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And look at all of these jade plants. I snapped some cuttings off in the hope that one or two would take. Blimey, they've all taken and they've come on leaps and bounds. Oh, let me just turn around slowly and show you our visitor. Zip! Zippy! Come here! Come here! Oi! Come here! Come here! Good girl! Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she just... Oh, she's lovely. I'd keep her. She's gorgeous. Anyway, we were doing the garden. I think she's taking a shine. Oi! Don't walk on that border, missus! have a wonder. Carrots are coming through nicely. Blooming blackbird was picking them all out though. Flipping nooses. Little celery. Mixed bed across there. The rain last night. I don't know if you got rain. We had rain last night. It hammered down and oh my goodness it was so welcome. Let's go. I'm using that one there as a little seed bed. Uh, I've planted kale, sprouts and possibly sprouting broccoli. Look at these courgettes though, oh they're gorgeous. The yellow leaves don't seem to have bothered them too much. Beautiful, I've got three plants, oh and they're keeping us going. Look at the sweet corn coming, male flowers starting to appear. I've just harvested some kohlrabi, they're not a bad size at all, they're looking really good. Celeriac, we'll see how they do because last year there seemed to be an awful lot of leaf growth and you know not really much celeriac. I don't know whether you can eat the leaves, anybody know? Stalks maybe? We'll have a little look. Tomatoes. The date. Oh look. Runner beans climbing this cheap, cheap arch. They're really getting up there. Almost to the top now. I've got some each side. Let's have a look. Uh, raspberries. It's starting to move at long last the butternut squash. It's taken long enough, mind. Sprouts for leaves, they're as tender as anything. The stalks, the leaves, absolutely love that vegetable, they're gorgeous. I'm going to re-sow that. I sowed a load of things in there and then didn't really water it, so that's my own fault. Nothing grew, it's my fault. I've got gladioli there coming. They'd be lovely in the salads. Um, look at those dahlias, aren't they beautiful? I didn't, I didn't harden them off or anything, they're so lovely. I don't know whether I should trim some of the leaves out of the tomatoes. They're very, very bushy. We'll have a little look and think. The tree kale. Look at the height of the Florence fennel. On the seed, the flower head's beautiful. The pollinators are absolutely loving them and I think they're pretty. I don't mind them being there at all. Poor climbing rose could do with a good trim. Let's go. I've got celery down there and the volunteers. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you. Look at these. The courgettes. The curling. I can't let them show you. Look at that. The curling. Curly courgettes. I've actually put in this empty tub here some extra runner bean seeds, hoping they'll come and then I'll transplant them to the arch. I've got more strawberries starting to come. To be honest, we didn't get a great crop of strawberries. They were lovely, but there wasn't a very big crop. But you know, there's a lot of flowers on now, so hopefully we'll have some fruit. That's Steve's ochre over there. A little look down here. French beans, they're coming now, massive flowers, so hopefully within a week or two we'll be having French beans off of there. I've put a little, no, a little catch crop of uh, radish. Look at this one. It's got a bit moth eaten, some of them. That's a kohlrabi that was a spare. Pepper plants are covered in flowers. We shall see whether we get any peppers. Or my little tiny bunching onions. I just use that, as I say. I'm going to make better use of that bed at the end of the year, but at the moment it's okay. Those are bits and pieces in it. 
I hate crocosmia and it's popping up all over my garden. So I should be having a good old pull out of the crocosmia today. Let me just step back. What I'll do is I'll walk to the top of the garden and then I'll pan round so you can see what we're dealing with. It's nice actually, look. Everywhere's green, it's beautiful. And the daily, look at it. So pretty that one. It's going on that again. Isn't that lovely? The gutter garden was not a success this year. I have not looked after it and that is totally my fault. Poor little onions. The other tree kale that Steve sent me. Swiss chard. I've just taken a load out of there that I'd gone to see. That one hasn't, but at the back there I've got some kale. Let me step let me just step round now. Still eyeballing that space to decide what to do with it. Little girl. Look at those hostas, aren't they lovely? Oh, I do love them. And I'm really impressed, really impressed that the Vaseline around the pots has stopped the uh, slugs and snails. Lilies aren't coming to much, but they were absolutely decimated by the lily beetle. Blimmin' things. And that is our little video for today. We haven't got very many apples on the apple tree this year. We had an absolute stack last year, so it wore itself out. <laughs>